So hello everyone. Today I wanted to go over this 300B amp that I built on the budget. Uh, this is for hi-fi use. You can tell I got my little turntable over here. Uh, this uses two 300B tubes, one per channel, six SL7, and a 5U4. Now the 300B tubes are ones for my guitar friends I've uh, probably never seen or heard of them before, but the 6SL7 and the 5U4 should be somewhat familiar with those. So these tubes right here on a good day will put out about 5 watts. But the plate dissipation is set to 38 watts, so horribly inefficient. Um, but these tubes here are what's called direct heated triodes. So a triode is like half of a 12AX7. And one of the differences between a tube like that and these is that the cathode and the filaments are the same element in here. Uh, so these are actually running direct current filaments on here uh, to help reduce noise. In addition to the power and two output transformers, it's got a separate filament transformer just for the 6SL7. It's got a choke internal to it. We've got our filter caps here, uh, 3030 and 100, 100. And for the 300Bs, the 130 section, one section each here, uh, tied together. So more ample filtering for it. So let's put it on the test equipment, see how it does. I'm also going to try this other tongue saw tube here as opposed to the GE, see how that performs. So let's see what happens. All right, so we've got the audio analyzer suite pulled up. Uh, this is again done by the creator stuff made here. So let's run the harmonic distortion versus power. So that way we can see based upon how much power is going into the amplifier, how much power is going to be coming out of it. So it's pretty linear relationship here, which is pretty good. Uh, so like I was saying, like on a good day, this thing will do five watts clean. And it gets up here to six and it's 5% distorted. So not very good. Uh, looking down a little bit lower, I know my preamp puts out about 1.1 volts. There's a little bit of a separation between the two channels. Yeah, to be expected. Uh, but that does about one watt. And one watt with this thing fully cranked is enough to run you out of the room. So now looking at the frequency response, and I'll kind of show something that is very interesting uh, to some, I'm sure. So if I do this at that 1.1 watts here, and we'll run the frequency response. One thing you will notice on this is that the bass is kind of boosted on here, which I will say, for this putting out, you know, one watt or so and using $90 out transformers, this performs pretty well here. There is a bit of a roll off on the higher frequencies, but that's okay. Not a lot of music up there, but a little bit of boost up here, a little bit of waviness, not too bad. So now if we go up to two volts here, and we can reference back to this chart and see up here when it reaches two volts, right about there, it's doing five watts. So let's see how the frequency response is now. Do you think it's gonna be the same or do you think it's gonna be different? Let's find out. Oh, so now at this higher output, the bass response is not there like it was before. Before we had a boost, now we have a dip. And the very left hand side of this graph is 20 Hertz. So that is being limited by those output transformers some, but I am nowhere near running it at that level. So to me, that is just fine. So let me swap out the tube and I'm gonna go with this nice tongue saw smoke glass and we'll see how it does. All right, so now I have the 6SL7 swapped out from the General Electric to the tongue saw. So this is that General Electric tube. You see it's kind of got a nice linear relationship here based upon the input voltage. 
So same settings, let's see how this does. Well, it's a lot lower in the distortion characteristics. Not as linear. See, we're still getting at 5% distortion up here, six watts or so. Five watts were down to somewhere around between one and a half to 1%. Across that 1% line at about four and a half watts. So we're getting a little bit more power, a little bit cleaner. So let's go back to the frequency response. And before we do, let's note the 1.1. And then up about two, it's doing same four and a half watts. So let's see here. Let's do the 1.1 first. And before, remember, we had that little bit of an uptick in the bass. Let's see if that comes back. All right, so the uptick in the bass is there, but that's a pretty big difference between the two channels now. It's only about half a dB difference, but it's a lot more than what we had before. So what that tells me is that the two triodes of this 6SL7 are not very well balanced. Well, let's go ahead and just be complete and run it at the two volts. Maybe it'll be better, maybe it'll be worse. Let's see, so we still got that roll off and there's that big separation again. So while this tongue saw tube may produce a slightly cleaner, quote unquote, uh, sound, the left and right channel are not as balanced as the other one. So this gives you an idea of what you know, tube rolling can help bring about in an amplifier. I love this amplifier. It sounds great to me, especially for the music that I like listening to. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. If you think I've earned it, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.